Welcome back to the Back to Space News Flash. I hope everyone is having a fabulous 800th day of January. Doesn't it feel like this month is super long? Also, we're trying to make these videos shorter, so let's jump right into it. Let's start out with some super out of this world news. It's about aliens. Let's start from the beginning. So, in November 2004, several U.S. Navy pilots encountered a tic-tac-shaped UFO darting and dashing over the Pacific Ocean in apparent defiance of the laws of physics. Navy officials credit unidentified aerial phenomenon, but they haven't spoken up since. So what the hell is this thing? Some of the videos were released in 2017 to the public, which is a pretty crazy video. Anywho, recently, the Navy had to respond to a Freedom of Information Act by a researcher, Christian Lambright, regarding this event. A spokesperson for the Navy's Office of Naval Intelligence, the ONI, confirmed that the agency possesses several top secret documents and at least one classified video pertaining to the 2004 UFO encounter. The spokesperson and also said these documents were titled Top Secret. What a great title. And that sharing the information with the public, and I quote, would cause exceptionally grave damage to national security of the United States. What? These files include several briefing slides about the incident. The Office of Naval Intelligence also admitted to possessing at least one video of unknown length classified as secret by the Naval Air Systems Command. The ONI didn't reveal whether this footage is the same one minute video that was leaked online in 2007 and widely released by the New York Times in 2017. However, in November 2019, several Naval officers who witnessed the incident aboard the Nimitz told popular mechanics that they have seen a much longer video of the encounter that was between 8 to 10 minutes long. These original recordings were promptly collected and erased by unknown individuals who arrived on the ship by helicopter shortly after the incident. The Freedom of Information Act request submitted in October 2019 by an independent researcher that we just mentioned asked for access to any non-classified records or portions of records regarding the 2004 UFO encounter. No additional documents were mentioned in the ONI's response besides the classified briefing and video. Whenever there's a secret, I just want to know everything. Secret secrets are no fun unless I am a part of one. Am I right? On January 15th, the second all-female spacewalk was a success. The same astronauts as the first one, Jessica Mier and Christina Koch, completed a seven hour and 29 minute EVA, replacing the batteries that store power for one pair of the space station's electricity generating solar arrays. The excursion resumed the work that the two Expedition 61 flight engineers performed in October, which made headlines as the first spacewalk to be done by women. And uh, referencing my shirt from last week. Yay, we did it times two. It was just announced that in July, NASA will launch its latest mission to Mars. And it is ambitious as heck, guys. So basically, this new rover builds on the technology developed for its predecessor, Curiosity, which I still think is the cutest little thing. Look at it. Anywho, it will launch atop of an Atlas V rocket, spending nine cozy months in transit. Once it touches down, it will use an array of high-tech instruments and 23 cameras to scour the planet for evidence of past micro microbial life and collect samples to be returned to Earth by a later mission. But unlike any of the other rovers, this one will carry a drone designed for the Martian atmosphere. The eventual goal of NASA's mission to Mars is to support a potential manned mission in the 2030s in the 30s. The rover is going there with equipment which, if it works, could convert some of the carbon dioxide in the Martian atmosphere into oxygen. But it's likely that any initial colonists will live in sealed pods. That sounds fun. China made its first launch of 2020 with a Long March 3B rocket carrying a mysterious satellite into space. The country has been super quiet about the launch, um, but usually they identify who owns or who will use the satellite it carries into space. So analysts think that the payload is connected to the military. China is expected to deploy more than 40 satellites in 2020. The last quarter of 2019 was a very busy time for this country as it began to launch multiple missions within days or hours of each other. In one case, the country launched two rockets only six hours apart at the same launch site. Oh my god, they are busy! All right, let's go to the giveaway from last week. We are giving away the Back to Space Challenge coin. There weren't a lot of comments last week, guys. I need you to step up your game for me. 
All right, the winner is Europa. Europa, you won! Wow, I didn't know on Europa you could have YouTube. That was a bad joke. Okay. This week, we are lucky enough to have an amazing photographer, Roland Miller, donate a piece to our channel for you. He has been photographically interpreting and documenting the history of space exploration for more than 30 years. His project, Abandoned in Place, is an exploration of the deactivated and abandoned and repurposed space launch and test facilities around the United States. This work was published by the University of New Mexico in a book titled Abandoned in Place, Preserving America's Space History. He also has been photographing the space shuttle program since 1988, and this is the piece that he donated to our wonderful channel. It's beautiful! Check out his current Kickstarter campaign. You can find him on Instagram and Twitter. So if you want this, which I know you do, because it's amazing, you need to do the three things that you need to do. Okay, one, like this video, two, subscribe to this channel, and three, leave a comment, maybe about UFOs. And guys, as I said, we're trying to make these shorter and more condensed. So that's it for this week's Back to Space News Flash. I will see you next week. Thanks so much for watching. Why don't you go ahead and leave a comment saying if you like the short condensed version as opposed to like the 11 minute one. We're trying to figure it out. We're trying to cater this to you guys. So let us know. Anyways, I'll see you next week with a Back to Space News Flash.